what's going on guys my name is Connor and today I'm going to talk to you guys about if I only had a hundred dollars left and I had to invest that money into something that was going to make me a bunch of money back exactly where I would put that money okay let's get right into it all right guys so some of you guys might be going into this video thinking I'm going to talk about this stock or the special business to start and that is not the case I'm going to teach you guys the complete opposite way of that Okay, I'm going to teach you what you do before you would even want to do either of those. Okay. And also where this came from is because I have people that want to join my mentorship program and they'll reach out to me and they'll say like, Hey, I only have this much money and I'll be straightforward with them. Like you can't afford this. Even if my program was free, you wouldn't be able to afford to start the business, blah, 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 blah. And so I leave them with the suggestion on what I would do with the amount of money that they have. Okay. And if you have anywhere near like a hundred dollars maybe less maybe a bit more but like not not a crazy amount of capital then these are the top two ways that i would honestly invest that money there's no better way no one's gonna tell you a better way unless no one's gonna tell you a better way period it's just all gonna be a scam and you're just gonna throw that money down the drain and yeah okay so if you guys are trying not to spend that money on stupid stuff like entertainment maybe weed alcohol blah blah blah, blah and you're actually trying to do something with it and get the maximum roi then keep watching okay so like I said, I'm gonna teach you guys two ways. And here's the first way, okay? Invest into books. Books are so, so undervalued. People do not understand the power and knowledge that you can gain from reading books, okay? Once I started reading books and I told myself like, I actually do need to read books because people have it all in their head. Like, I don't need to read books, it's not that important. But there are so many books that are not like the school books that you've read before. They're books that actually Enter, not just entertain you but they, they they like stick to you okay you like you have to keep reading and those are books that have to do with your passion okay so whether you're in business whether you're going into the medical field whatever it might be there's always going to be a book that you can find that's going to give you the edge over your competition okay but just to give you guys some examples of book that I, books that i really love and that i would completely recommend reading for almost anyone out there are one principles of ray dalio if you guys aren't familiar with that book it's essentially um, Ray Dalio, the story of his life. Um, he talks about the mistakes he made and then the beginning, the middle part is about uh, what he learned from those mistakes. And then in the end, he absolutely drills all of the principles or things that he learned into your head by telling the principle like in one sentence and then explaining what the principle means and then putting some text below it, just getting into more and more detail. So if you don't really understand the principle he's talking about, you can go to the next subtext. And if you don't understand that, then you can just go down. He just absolutely drills it into your head to, to the point where once you encounter a life situation similar to one that he encountered, you can basically reflect back to that principle that he taught you and it's just gonna lead you in the right direction and you're not gonna have to make the same mistakes that he made, okay? And the other two that I would recommend are one, think and grow rich, and the other one is how to win friends and influence people, okay? So the person that wrote how to win friends and influence people is the same person that mentored Warren Buffett, and Warren Buffett said that that mentorship was the single greatest investment that he ever made. I believe he was a teenager, and I believe that mentorship was about a hundred or two dollars. Um, 100 or 200 dollars okay i'm not completely sure that's just something i read but he it's a fact that he said that that was one of the single greatest investments that he's ever made okay and so i'm not gonna fluff it up i'm not gonna extend this video any longer than it has to be i'm just gonna tell you guys that the next thing that i recommend is taking people out to dinner okay you guys have the world in the palm of your hands through instagram linkedin if you just send out like 10 20 messages a day saying um let's just say you're going into real estate and you you see these top producers and you just say hey um i'm just getting into the real estate niche i'm a teenager i'm the most driven person that you'll meet i'd love to take you out to lunch sometime and you just say something similar to that you you can um change it and adapt to um depending on who you're messaging if you're in the medical field and you want to learn from like a top surgeon if you're a lawyer and you want to just talk to all their lawyers that are ahead of you blah 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 and just form these connections then go ahead and do so okay and for those of you guys who follow me on instagram you guys see that sometimes i'll post um responses from different people that are celebrities like for example i'm getting into real estate for those of you guys who don't know i'm very interested in real estate i feel like it's one of my greatest passions and so i'm almost on my license and i'm going to be um, an agent for a bit i'm going to at least try it out for now okay but as I was deciding, hey, I want to get into real estate, I got responses from people like Josh Altman from Million Dollar Listing, 
and it's just crazy like at the beginning of starting to message these people so so often i was so surprised of, on, on how many responses i was getting i don't know if i really said that right but when i started messaging a bunch of people i was so surprised by how many responses i was getting and to the point where when i got a response from josh altman it was like oh there it is there's my one response for the day because i sent out 20. And you guys will be surprised it's really a numbers game if you guys are sending out 10 20 a day after a few days you're going to get some momentum and you're going to start getting responses from a, a lot of people and so i suggest that you guys take these people out to dinner i suggest that you guys take these people out to lunch if you want to save a little bit of money people know that it costs less to go out to lunch than it does to dinner most of the time these people aren't going to eat as much and you're not going to have to go to as fancy of a restaurant but i just suggest that you guys form these connections with people ahead of you in your industry so you can really gain knowledge that is going to give you the edge over your peers okay so no i don't have anything else that i would invest a hundred dollars into i would suggest to hold back from spending it on weed alcohol entertainment food that's just going to make you fat i suggest that you really discipline yourself and really decide hey i'm going to spend i'm going to spend 30 dollars on books okay so i'll have 70 dollars left over depending on how much money you have and i'm going to spend that other 75 dollars on taking two people out to lunch boom there you go and you guys are going to gain a lot more than you would investing into a stock that's just going to increase by one to two percent that one to two dollars that you might have made on a lucky guest stock that you made it, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you guys are not going to get a greater investment than doing one or two or maybe both of these things okay so thank you guys for watching this video i highly recommend that you guys take my advice if you guys don't have a substantial amount of money or you're just figuring out what you want to do just find just try different things read a book on something that you might be passionate about talk to people in the industry that you're considering being a part of just just invest that money smartly okay that's all i have to say thank you guys for watching this video make sure to like comment comment and subscribe if you guys got anything else video and feel free to message me on instagram if you guys have any questions or concerns my instagram will be in the description it is at connor.langley and thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one